Well, hello there. I am the Bearded Shark. No, <laughs> the official Bearded Shark. Get it right if you're going to say my name. What's up, guys? I'm Mo. You know this already, but if you don't and this is your first time being in here, thank you so much for coming in and checking out my channel. Do me a favor. Do me a solid. Press that thumbs up if you like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. You better subscribe to the channel there, homie. But seriously, if you like my content, subscribe to the channel because it does benefit me, obviously, when you subscribe. And also, you know, just so you can watch my new videos that come out. So press that little bell thingy, too. Don't forget that. Today, we're going to be reviewing Red Crushed Peppers from Domino's Pizza. No, just kidding, but if you do not put red crushed peppers on your pizza, we can't be friends. I like my pizza spicy. That's just me, I guess, because I'm a spicy person, so I like to eat spicy foods. But today, we're going to be reviewing a company called Bahawa. Bahawa is based out of Florida, and I know you guys seen them floating around the internet, but let's get this straight, guys. It ain't approved unless it's shark approved, so sit down, grab your Coca-Cola or yoo and just put on your pajamas and watch this video for me. Thank you. Guys, today we got six different oil scents to talk about. We have also the matching butters, but I'm not going to go through every single butter, but I do have one butter to go through for you guys, and it's an exclusive scent for the butter line, so I'll be talking about that. We're going to be talking about ingredients. We're going to be talking about price, feeling beard, and obviously the most important part, if it's shark approved we're going to start off with the oils guys and we're going to talk about the ingredients first and then we'll talk about the scents so in this whopping two ounce bottle of beard oil yes you don't see a lot of two ounces but this is two ounces right here you're going to find organic golden jojoba oil organic avocado oil organic black seed oil safflower oil organic sunflower oil organic moroccan argon oil organic almond oil, organic castor oil, vitamin E, and of course your scent. So this right here is advertised as beard and hair oil. So if you don't have a beard, but you have a luscious mullet, you can put this on your mullet and you'll be okay, okay? So you can smell good and your hair will be healthy and the scalp underneath it. So just remember, beard oil is not only technically for the beard, you can put it in your hair as well. And, you know, if you want to put it on your armpits, why not? <laughs> There's hair there too. Guys, let's take a little closer look on the oil right here. You can see the amber glass bottles, which I absolutely love. I really dig the logo. It just kind of reminds me of my background. You know, I'm Middle Eastern, so that's like a Middle Eastern background right there. Um, kind of reminds me of Aladdin. Don't know, but kind of reminds me of the movie Aladdin. But the oil inside, you guys are going to get, you can see it's a little bit dark so it has that yellow tint to it and then the oil of course the thickness or like some like to say viscosity you can see it's right there medium -ish. medium -ish. is that even a real word but that's what i get it's like a medium weight oil but this is just a little bit different and we'll get to that in a minute this is the barbershop scent and let me tell you guys something about this barbershop scent if I was in the Middle East right now, okay, and you walk into the barbershop there, you exactly smell this right here. You get like an authentic barbershop scent, but you're going to get like a little bit of spiciness. And I think it's from the oil from the ingredients in the bottle. I don't think it's like an, an added scent because I get like straight up authentic barbershop scent. This right here, when I wore Bahawa for more than a week, it just takes me to like a Middle Eastern journey. And I enjoy that a lot because everything there, you know, you're going to have some kind of bit of a spices in there that's going to give you that like spicy taste, but it doesn't, it doesn't give you like a spicy, like mouth burning. It's like they just get a little bit of spiciness. And that's what I get from the lineup from Bahawa. But the scent on the barbershop, guys, straight up fresh cut, fresh barbershop. You got that line going. You got that talcum powder going. You just got everything on in a barbershop. That's exactly what you get. There's no hitting like watermelon scent that goes with it. There's no hidden cologne scent, no hidden oud or nothing like that. It's just straight up barbershop. And that's the kind of barbershop scents that I like. Just authentic barbershop scents. Now, don't get me wrong, I enjoy the ones that have a little twist to it, but I love like an authentic barbershop scent, and this is what you get out of this. Next one, guys, is going to be orange and cedar. Cedar and orange right here, and I love how the, the name of the oils are on the bottom of the scent profile, so you won't forget. This is Positive Vibes right here, and again, with this one, you get that cedar and you get that orange. They're very well blended, 
This is a fall in a bottle right here. So this is fall vibe for me, okay? So one thing I do like as well about Bahawa is the fact that what you smell in bottle is what you're gonna get in your beard, in your hand. There's no magic twist or anything like that. They're simple but effective. And I enjoy that a lot from him because I don't wanna sit there. You know, it's cool to have like mystery scents, but knowing what you're putting in your beard, it's really cool. So what you see in bottle and what you see that's on the label is exactly what you're gonna get in your beard. And this right here is cedar and orange, and that's exactly what you get. This is a fall vibe right here. So this is going to open up a little bit more in the fall. Um, if you have this scent, you know exactly what you what I mean. This right here, to me, fall and winter are my positive vibes, my happy places. So this right here definitely reminds me of fall time. For all you oud lovers out there, this one's called Oriental Night, and this is royal oud right here. Now this, when you smell it, guys, you're going to get... Just straight up like a cologne vibe. You get that oud, but you don't get like that sourish oud scent. You just kind of get like a nice agar wood smell, and it turns into a cologne. Um, this one is very nice. I get a little bit hints of vanilla in there, and I might be wrong, but that's what I get. But it's kind of like a little bit floral, but it's not like girly floral. It's like a manly floral scent, and um, it's really nice. I like this a lot. This is one of those scents that you can wear year round at the office, date night, nighttime, wherever you want. Good job on this one. Now this one guys, it's a little bit different. This one's called Your Majesty and it's called Growth Oil. So this is the growth oil that you're gonna get from Bahawa. I haven't used it enough to know if it actually works or not, but the ingredients you're gonna find in here is gonna be organic black seed oil, Moroccan argon oil, organic castor oil, organic golden jojoba oil, organic avocado oil, organic almond oil, organic grapeseed oil, organic sunflower oil, vitamin E, and of course, it's a vegan fragrance oil blend, and it's alcohol free. So this one, you can see that he added grapeseed oil to this one, but the black seed oil is on top on this one, so therefore, I guess uh, I haven't done much um, information or research on the information so i'm assuming the black seed oil is good for hair growth um this is my first time experience with black seed oil honestly and this one right here it's a nice little floral scent as well and i'm not sure what the scent profile is supposed to be on this one all i know is that it says growth oil and you get like a nice floral scent you know there's some growth oils out there that smell like garbage this one is actually very pleasant so if you guys use this for multiple months or anything like that, and if you have an opinion on it, just leave it in the comments below so you'll know. I need to spend some more time with this. I may shave my beard off and just use this right here and see what I think. My beard already grows quick, but with maybe this right here, it may make it grow quicker and healthier. So we never know. I may spend some more and more much needed time with this to see what I think. This next one that we're gonna talk about is called Citrus Zen and it's Clementine and Lavender. Now this one right here, guys, you guys know that I'm not a big lavender fan and this one took me by surprise. I thought I was gonna hate it or I was gonna give me like a headache and it didn't. This one right here, I get seriously this is a nighttime scent. You get a little bit of spiciness and then you get that lavender that kind of just like mellows it out. This is a good scent. This is a nighttime vibe for me. So if you like nighttime scents, it's not too strong. It's not too, you know, subtle. But this right here, it, you kind of get like a, like a bitters, like bitters, like citrus, you know, like maybe like an orange peel or like a lemon peel. And then you get the lavender that's kind of like mellows it out. It's not... It's not, or maybe a little bit of grapefruit, something around there. So it's either grapefruit, lemon, or orange. Like you're kind of biting into the peel. That's what I get out of this. So you kind of like, you get like a citrusy bitter, like from the peel scent, but then you have the uh, the lavender that mellows it out. I honestly thought that I wasn't gonna like this because I'm not a big lavender fan, but the fact that the lavender is not too overpowering on this, and it's just a really good nighttime scent. I like this, where I like wearing this in the nighttime. Um, it doesn't get like in the way of like, or making anybody kind of like cringe with like that, like, ooh, what's in your beard? Why is it so strong when it's nighttime? It mellows out. This is actually a really good soothing scent. So I enjoyed this. For it not to be advertised as a, uh, like a nighttime scent with the lavender in there and the clementine, you know, it just kind of like, 
it's pretty good. All right, last but not least, we're going to talk about is Insatiable. Insatiable is going to be an oud and wood scent. Now, when you see oud and wood, this isn't going to be like one of those, like, you know, I'm out in nature, woodsy scent. This is like hardwood floor and agar wood, like the woodsy smell from the oud, not the cologne type. And this right here, guys, is my favorite scent from him. And like I said earlier, this right here, what you smell in bottles is what you get in beard. And let's have a moment of silence for this insatiable. Yes, this is absolutely amazing. This one took me out of my comfort zone and I enjoyed it a lot. You get that agar wood and you get like hardwood floor smell out of this and you get a little bit of spiciness. And again, I think it's from the black seed oil. I'm not 100% sure, but it just brings it out. And I liked it a lot. So this right here, guys, is my number one scent from Bahawa. Let's talk about what I think is the most underrated product from Bahawa, and that is the butter. This is a two ounce glass jar right here, guys. And this is in the special scent, and it's called Sleepy Time. And this is gonna be chamomile and floral. So chamomile and floral is what you get out of this. This butter is really good. This butter looks like it's hard. Let me show you guys right there, but it's not hard at all. This comes out very, very well and it melts almost instantly this is what look at that before i start talking look how it's melting this right here guys is just exactly what i described it's like more of like a hydrogel it's butter but it's like a splash of extra moisture in your beard and i enjoyed it a lot i think this is gonna be in my top butters in 2021 I, there ain't no thinking it is gonna be and i know that a lot of people have this butter and they enjoy it but this chamomile and floral I get like chamomile and honeysuckle. That's what I get. I get like a little bit of honeysuckle, like a honey scent out of it. It's nice. It's relaxing. It is strong, but it's not like strong to the point where you're like, <coughs> get away from me. But it's kind of like, uh, like strong where uh, I'm going to tone it down and relax. And that's what I like when it comes to nighttime scents. I want something that's going to relax me and put me in that zone where I know it's almost time for bed. And when I take my nighttime gummies at night, yeah, I take melatonin and I wear my beard products that are like, you know, not designed for nighttime, but they feel like, you know, they should be like a nighttime exclusive scent. This right here is my go-to and his butter. Let me tell you about his butter. He's one of the few that you can put in your beard and not worry about putting oil. So if you are a butter fan and not an oil fan and you just want to wear butter, this right here is like moisture for your skin, moisture for your beard. It looks thick, but it's not going to give you much hold at all, or at least it didn't for me. But it does a good job on locking in that moisture, it's making your beard feel soft during the nighttime. And I sleep on my stomach, so when I roll around and I can wake up in the morning and my beard still feels soft like cotton nail, then I know that product is working very well. The ingredients that you're going to find in the butter is going to be organic shea nut butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, organic babassu oil, safflower oil, virgin hemp seed oil, organic black seed oil, virgin rose hip seed oil, vitamin E and cerebellina wax. Now cerebellina wax, I've experienced it before. The good thing about this, it is waxy feeling, but it's not hard to actually wash out of your beard so you don't need like a very stripping wash like a heavy beeswax product to get out of your beard nice warm water with like a gentle wash will work very well to get the wax out of there Whew, that was a big review guys right so let's talk about my experience with bahawa obviously with a lot of products that i have here and then obviously with one oil having a little bit different ingredient than the other i did take longer than i usually do to actually test and review this product this is my first experience with black seed oil and let me tell you what i first thought of it put it in my hand and then i warmed it up to go put it in my beard it just like instantly wanted to go where i wanted to go you know how some oils like when you put in your beard you have to take a comb or a brush to evenly distribute this was very easy to distribute in the beard and it just really absorbed very well in my skin and hair you ever seen that commercial where it says like he said it and forget it that's how i felt about the products from bahawa you you set it in your beard and you forget about it, but you know that it's working because your beard is still soft few hours later, 10 hours later, whatever it is, you know that it's doing its job. The butter, like I stated earlier, this is a very well-made butter. I can wear it at night without the oil. I don't have to worry about my skin underneath my beard getting dried out. I don't get beard rough out of it or anything like that. 
Um, so if you like wearing butters without oils, here you go. Try out Bahawa. Now, with all these oils, you do kind of get like a background scent is what I like to call it. Like a little bit of spicy scent, but it doesn't like burn it like that. You just kind of like it get like a few spices. And I think it's a black seed oil. But the scent profiles that he has, they really complement the black seed oil. And so they don't interfere. I just feel like that it just it's a natural scent that's supposed to be in there now if he made like a very unique cologne scent i can see it getting in the way but with the scent profiles that he has and the scent profiles that he's going to come out with in the future i don't feel like you have to worry about that third party scent interfering we do know that they're all organic and natural so there's nothing artificial in there that's making this scent is just the natural ingredients in the oils and butter so is it shark approved 100% Bahawa is shark approved. I recommend it. I back up this company. Back it up enough to know that I want to work closely with this company. I want to see what he comes out with in the future. I want to see how far this company goes. I do believe that this company is going to skyrocket and it's going to be one of the most popular companies in the beard game. So keep a lookout for that. And I want to work closely with them and I want you guys to try them. Yes, this is my newest affiliate company and I'm very proud to announce that The Shark and Bahawa has decided to move closer to working together and me becoming an affiliate partner for them. I cannot wait to see what you guys think of Bahawa. If you've tried this company before, please comment below and let everybody know what your favorite scent is, what your experience are with the ingredients and the product. That's it guys. I'm tired of talking to you guys. No, I'm kidding, but I am tired. I am going to go take a shower and I'm eat me some Jack's chicken and I'm going to go to sleep. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday because this is going to be Thursday when it comes out. And guess what? We're getting that much closer to the weekend. So y'all have a great day and have a great rest of the week. And as always, stay bearded. Duh.